Welcome back to KMMO's exclusive Missouri River flood coverage from 800 feet in the air to give you a perspective not seen anywhere else other than right here from your friends at KMMO and a big thanks to Bill Riggins. As you just saw, we are flying right now back west near the Malta Bend area. Actually, to the north of Malta Bend in the Grand Pass wildlife area is what you're seeing below on the south side of the river. On the north side of the river, that's Southern Carroll County. That's south of Walkendall. That's an area where levee has been breached. And as you will see as we look to the north of the river right now, you will be able to see the inundation and the miles and literally thousands of acres that have been flooded with that breach in the Missouri River and some of these levees. As we continue to fly back to the west, if you look back right now, we're getting ready to cross the river into the Grand Pass Bottoms area. But as we go back, you'll be able to see, in fact, right there, you'll be able to see some of those areas where there's water, where there's white water. That's water flowing into those bottoms from the Missouri River. As I stated, we right now are flying back across the river into the Grand Pass Bottoms area. Is there a lot of water in the Grand Pass Bottoms area? Yes. Have the levees been topped in the Grand Pass Bottoms area? No. What you're seeing right now is what we call seep water. That's water coming up from the ground due to the water table on the Missouri River. In fact, right now we're on the west side of the Grand Pass Bottoms area, just to the north and to the east of Waverly, crossing back in to southern portions of Carroll County, right now just to the east of Highway 65. In fact, as we fly across Highway 65, you will be able to see some of those areas around what they call the Boundary Area, and also some of those areas in the Moss Creek Sugar Tree area where water has backed up that has caused 65 Highway to be reduced to one lane in some of those areas. In fact, you'll be able to see that in just a moment where we come across 65 Highway in that Carrollton's Bottoms area. If you look to the top of your screen, you can see that area that has been causing the problems with flooding on Highway 65. That is a stretch that runs from what they call the Battery area if you're on 65, it's actually a few miles south, about five miles south of Carrollton. There's that stretch right now that you can see that comes back about two miles to where you have water that is reduced 65 highway to one lane. This is an area that you've heard a lot about the big bags. The big bags are working right now to keep at least 65 open to one lane of traffic. We continue up west of Waverly right now in southern parts of Carroll County. As you can see, again, there's a lot of backwater here. There's a lot of seep water here. Unfortunately, all those areas and some of those areas that don't look like they have water, they actually do right at ground level. A lot of that crop is going to be lost for 2011. As you can see, some of the homesteads in the southern parts of Carroll County have water almost creeping at the door right now. Many of those folks have either moved out and or continue to fight with sandbags around their homes to save their homes from some of that water. The water per se coming from the Missouri River, no, that's not necessarily the case. A lot of this is just backwater that has caused a lot of these problems. Right now as we continue up to the west of Waverly, you're starting to go back on the south side. You're looking at those areas that many would call the Hodge Bottoms area to the east and to the north of Dover right now. Normally, very, very productive farm ground. Right now, a nice lake, maybe good for fishing, not good for farming right now. Again, looking back across the Missouri River, you can see on the Carroll County side, just in southern parts of Carroll County, the water has just overtaken that ground extensively. Again, many of these acres were very productive and very good farm ground until this water has been at the level it has been so long. And again, right now, this is going to be a total loss. Unfortunately, with the predictions of the river running that high, that long, we're talking through the end of August, possibly into the winter, this water will not leave that ground until that gets down. Great look right now below you of a home that's almost been overtaken by the water from the Missouri River flood. Again, we mentioned in segment one, this is so much different than 1993 where you had water breaking levees when that lower basin, you had the river rise so high, so fast, it broke levees. This has been more of a slow kill process with the water as high as it's been for as long as it's been. It will continue to be that way for a while. Unbelievable pictures right now of what's going on around that area. 
as you can see this side there's a, a uh, area just on the bluff so they're going to be dry if you're on the other side of the river in the bottoms not so much Again, this area of Southern Carroll County that we talked about, uh, you can see a lot of places where the levees, a lot of places the levees have been topped, what would we call a, maybe a levee district levee, what would be a primary levee, and secondary levees are still holding at this point in time. That's an area that will, was more than likely an area that was weak back in 1993 that the levee has been repaired. Right now, still doing its job, unfortunately, water from the ground seeping back up. No, you can't stop that right now. I think it's important to note right now, as you can see on our video, there are a lot of different places where you see different colors of water. Of course, the Missouri River water, very muddy. In fact, that's a great example right there. We see seep water. It almost looks like clear water. Keep in mind, that is that seep water coming up from the ground, so it is going to be a lot clearer. So you'll see those different uh, variations of color from what seep water, much more blue, much more clear, as opposed to the water on the Missouri River and where there are areas, whether it be a drainage ditch or a backwater area, the water much more muddy in those locations. As we get up in that Hodge Bottoms area up to the north of Dover, as you can see, a total loss for these farmers. In fact, as you look below right now, we are around that Tabo Creek area where that dumps in, and that is a confluence around the Missouri River as well. Again, those bottoms inundated by the flooding. It's hard to imagine it would happen again, but it has happened again in 2011. Again, as we take a look down, you can see different areas on the Carroll County side right now, and even getting close to the Ray County line, where you can just see some of these ditches that have backed up and been overtopped, where, again, those were put there for the sole purpose of when the river does get a little bit high to hold some of that water. Unfortunately, it's gotten so high right now, they can't hold all the water, and some of those has spilled back out into some of that prime agricultural ground. We made our way back up to the Lexington Bridge area right now. In fact, we continue to fly on just to the west of Lexington Bridge. You can see some of those areas that are normally wet. Well, they're wet again, only to the extent of they've got a lot more water than they normally do as we continue to fly back to the west of the Lexington Bridge area right now. At this point, we're flying along the Missouri River. If you've heard about 224 Highway being closed west of Lexington, well, if you look down to the bottom of your screen right now, some of that area in just a moment, you will have 224 Highway. To the north side, you're talking about southern parts of Bray County. It uh, looks like a sand plant area there as we continue to fly west of Lexington. Many of these pictures are hard to define where the Missouri River is and where the Missouri River is not right now take a look below you can see some areas where there are and that's been a problem too or has a potential to be a problem with areas that have sewage plants water plants along the Missouri River with that water creeping into it you can see right there a power line out there in the bottoms that has been inundated by water too stick around we will have more coverage as we go back downstream on the Missouri River from KMMO